So, welcome back to some Minecraft. Hello, hello, hello. Um, so, we are out at the homestead at the moment. Um, I'm about to head back over to the village because we're going to be working on the tiger village a little bit more. Um, I've got like a little sort of mini project that I want to work on in the corner of the village. And I wanted to talk about a few things in relation to the village and in relation to the 1.17 update that's coming out later this year. Um, in the summer and just kind of like what I've been thinking about lately because it feels kind of relevant to the world and stuff at the moment uh, so I've already spoken about like I'm gonna have to go to a new area and we're gonna have to you know kind of not necessarily start fresh but <laughs> kind of start fresh I guess uh, which it already been already been spoken about many a times and like I've spoken about sort of which direction I'm gonna go in and stuff um, but they announced quite recently that oh god one minute hold up I'm stuck they've announced that I'm stuck they announced quite recently that world generation is gonna like change entirely in terms of height and stuff and that um, hold up let me get somewhere safe <laughs> I don't need a I don't need a boat to get out here, so that's fine. Um, sorry. Anywho, they've said that like the world generation is going to change, and anywhere that's already been loaded up will remain the same, and any new chunks below level zero will get like an extra, like sixty bloody blocks added to it. So the world is going to be like sixty blocks deeper, or a hundred blocks deeper, or something like that. It's going to be mental. Um, and basically, I want to utilise that as much as possible, so I'm not going to be going out to the desert, um, to do a build before. I'm going to treat the desert as a bit of a pit stop, because if I go there now and start, like, a build and do shit over there, and render in more and more and more chunks, then it's not going to be as fun for me you know, when we get round to moving over there properly, I guess, if that makes any sense. Um, so what I'm going to do is focus on the areas that we've already rendered, focus on, you know, the village, um, Greydale, Dollarhide, you know, I've got miniature projects over at those towns, and uh, quite recently I've been mapping out more of Dollarhide, um, I've been practicing different styles for Greydale to sort of switch that up a little bit and maybe make it a little nicer and a little bit more impressive. Um, I just kind of feel like I'm starting a bit too much and I was going to do like a mini project and like transforming a desert village and it was going to be really cool. But I don't want to go all the way out there to, you know, the borders of the limits that I gave myself, the sort of 4000 coordinate border that I gave myself and start rendering in chunks and make it harder for myself when 1.17 rolls around and there is areas within the 4000 coward border that I gave myself so if anybody doesn't know what I'm on about I gave myself kind of like a render border and it's 4000 blocks in every single direction and I don't go past those blocks unless like I'm lost in the fucking never and can't help it um, or like, for example, with the Ocean Temple, I didn't really have much choice. It was just the only one that I knew the location of, so I think it's quite far out. Um, but there's also a lot of areas that I haven't discovered within that 4000 border. So I'm trying my best to kind of like, you know, keep keep the series fresh and keep my sort of muse fresh for the series, but not you know, wander off into the middle of nowhere and start rendering chunks in and shit like that. So, until 1.17, I'm not going to be starting any new projects that are just, like, in a different biome. We might start a new town or something, but we won't be... <laughs> we won't be doing it in the middle of nowhere. And, uh... I mean, there's stuff that I... There's stuff that I want to do as well, like the Redstone Ravine. I've got some really, really cool ideas for. Um, but yeah... I wanted to talk about that a little bit. I don't really know if I made it make sense. Hopefully I did. 
But anywho, we're going to be working on some more of the village today. We're really close to the end. As you can see, I've been doing some stuff as I've sort of wandered around. Um, putting up a lot of lanterns and lampposts and stuff because I want to try and make this as much of a mob-free zone as possible. Um, we've got the location for the town hall sorted. Um, I also threw up this build uh, to kind of like just filling this gap because it was just a bit of a random gap. I think in the last episode we set up the Fletchers and I'm going to be working on the houses and also this little sort of back section over here. So I'm going to leave the town hall for last as well. I kind of want that to be the final thing that we do and I'm going to do the towers for the walls off camera. Um, other than that though, the walls are completely done. Like the walkways, um, the exterior of them with the little supports and stuff, they're all done apart from the towers which the tower is always the worst part. But I wanted to switch things up a little bit because I am not going to be doing a airship. I can't build them. <laughs> I cannot build airships at the moment. And we're coming towards the end of this build and the lifespan of this build. And it's, it's creeping up on me and I can't do airships still. So I've decided we're going to set up like a little wagon. Um, and this town's gonna have like a little wagon that travels off to Dollarhide and other towns and stuff and just drops off little shipments of um, Snowbrew wine. So I wanted to design like a little wagon and have like a little loading dock area with like barrels of the wine and whatever else that they're shipping off. Um, just trying to figure out if there's anything else in my inventory that I need and there is. I need to make some stairs for the wheels. Um... We're probably going to need some spruce slabs, to be fair. Make quite a few of those, because I don't... I'm just completely improvising this wagon. <laughs> and we're going to make a bunch of barrels, which I think has just used up pretty much all of my slabs, so that's fun. There we go, we got some back. Boom, and this man is now in the way. We love to see it. Bugger off. This is not for you. There's already people living here. Go away, you shit. Okay, so yeah, I want to I wanna do a wagon that has like a bunch of barrels on it and has like a bunch of, um, a bunch of like little shipment bottles that we can send off around the place. And then like, I don't know if I want to put like a little shelter thing over the top of this little area, but like I, I already put down the gravel, the gravel. The gravel and the cobble. That's what grab, uh, gravel and cobble is, is gravel. I already put down the gravel. Um, <laughs> and got that sorted out. I feel like it's a nice little nice little transition area to signify that something different is going to be sat here. Uh, oh, that wasn't what I wanted to do, but it's fine. It works. Got a nice big wheel. Nice big wheel. We love a big wheel. That also threw me off, even though I just did it. I'm definitely going to need some more. <laughs> God damn. Maybe we could also get some har- uh, some- Why do I keep combining words? I was going to say some harmers. Maybe we could get some horses or some llamas. <laughs> and strap them to the front of this- of this wagon as well. That could be an option. I want to, uh, push that forward there. Like that. Bish bash bosh. Bish bash bosh. Thinking about making the Minecraft episodes a little bit longer and doing like big weekly update kind of videos instead of 20 to 30 minute videos. Um, I feel like that would probably work out a little bit better, but I'm not fully sure just yet. I've got to try and like figure this whole shebang out. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. Okay. I haven't, I haven't built a wagon in forever. I think this is like the first proper like storage wagon thing that I've built on this world. Okay, that works. Oh, we might have to do something slightly different actually. Um, I think what I'm going to have to do is put 
blocks on here instead and then like attach the trap doors to the blocks so that I can actually have some cargo inside of the wagon <laughs> otherwise I'm not going to be able to put anything in here like that uh, it, I mean it doesn't change the shape of it or anything it puts like a little bit of a ridge out there, but that's fine. I think we're, like, we're going to have to do the same on this side as well. But that means I can put like sort of larger barrels of the snowberries in. Uh, uh, uh. Boom. Brilliant. But yeah, and now I can put both barrels and... Just normal snowberry blocks inside of here and it won't look stupid. But that's the wagon. It's a pretty big boy, isn't it? Bloody hell. We could put like a little... Hmm. Do I want to put like a little sort of canvas thing going over the top of it? Let's sort of have a mess around with that. If I got some... I've got a couple of spruce fences already. I'll make a couple more. Uh, make a few more. Maybe we want like a little, a little cover going over the top of the entire wagon. Maybe that's an okay idea. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it out of wool. Maybe I'm going to have to do it out of wood. I feel like it would look okay in general, but yeah, I'm going to have to, maybe I'll do it out of dark oak. So that like the entire thing isn't just... Fucking spruce. <laughs> fucking spruce. We've got enough spruce out here already. These costly fucking houses with the logs. This is by far my favourite project that I've done so far though. I'm really, really happy with how it's turning out. Uh, oh, look at all this that we've got. Good God. We might not even need some of the logs. So I'm going to... Yeah, we're not going to need any of the logs. We're going to use dark oak. Dark oak slabs. I'm so happy with how this place is turning out. It's like, if if I could replicate this and turn each building into something specific for survival, then we'd have like a big like village survival base, and that's pretty cool. I'm really happy with it so far. So I'm thinking like, oh, we might have to replace that block there to make it look okay. Okay, well, let's bring this along. Let's bring it along. I'm thinking just like a solid block there. Oh. Not there. Good God almighty. Boom. Ah! Motherfucker. Um. I also wanted to speak about, like... I was watching a flip episode, uh, not an episode, I think it might have been like a clip from a live stream or something actually. Um, and he was talking about like people accusing him of using somebody's style just because they use the same blocks. Um, <laughs> which is like really wild, but like I guess it's a thing that people do accuse people of. Um, and I kind of wanted to speak about like where I get my inspiration from and kind of give references and shout outs to those people because I think I did it at the start of the series and I'll probably do it when we start sort of like 1.17 and sort of season 2 I guess is what it will call it. Um, but like I wanted to sort of give reference to the people that I take inspiration from and who I go to as kind of like references and whatever else just in case like i build something and somebody just so happens to see it and is like oh no you copied that from so and so um just for reference like nobody owns a style and i feel like i give credit whenever i do straight up copy something um so like i grew up watching a lot of shin uh he was the first person that introduced me to like minecraft building I guess and sort of like let's build some things and Jamsy boy who does not upload uh, doesn't upload anymore that's Jamsy boy not Jamsy boy <laughs> um I mentioned Jamsy boy to somebody and they was like 
Do you mean Jersey boy? No, I don't know a Jersey boy. <laughs> I've heard of a Jersey boy, but it's not my Jamsy boy. Uh, but yeah, I really like Jamsy Boy's old sort of atmospheric videos using the Conquest texture pack. Um, I watched like Building with Beetle Blow, Building with Fwip. Um, uh, who else have I watched? Madness64, like really OG guy. I watched Jerocraft, like I said straight up, my Dollarhide houses are inspired by a Jerocraft house design that popped up in one of his videos very briefly. Um, I think that's it. I mean, I've watched some Grian videos and stuff, but I don't think I've, like, had any style influence from Grian. Um, I think it's mostly just, mostly just, like, little decorative ideas and things like that. But yeah, I, I don't know, I just kind of felt like I needed to mention <laughs> where I got my inspiration from, because I saw people kicking off at Flip for it, and I was like, well, mm, not gonna be me, motherfucker. <laughs> um... But anywho, this is mostly coming to an end. Uh, actually, how did I... Oh. Ew, I think I need to extend that out a little bit. I don't know, I wanted to put, like, little latch-on things. But I don't know how, if I'm going to be able to. Um... <laughs> I don't know how to add on like the little the little attachment for the reins on the front. Oh, I've got I've got a little bit of an idea. Let's have a gander. We'll see if it works. It might not. It probably won't. I'm gonna make two of these. What about if I put like those there? That works. Holy shit, that works. Okay. <laughs> as soon as I was like, I was like, oh god, I can't attach a fence. This isn't gonna work. I've ruined it all. But no, this 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 is actually fine. Okay. Um, I'm definitely gonna need like some sort of fucking light inside of there. Have we not got any lanterns left over? Might have to go get a lantern. I also need to see if. Oh god, were there crimson? Were there never wart things in there? I need some never wart things. Got in here? I've got beetroot. I don't want beetroot. Or maybe I do want beetroot. Oh, there's some never walk things. Shit, I'm picking up everything. Put those back. Good god, I don't need those. We'll also sleep as well, because it's night. I've been putting ender chests everywhere so that I can, like, um, put my elytras and stuff in there. So I've got, like, an ender chest at the homestead, the tiger village, dollar hide, and Greydale. Um... Okay, we've got the Neverwart blocks, and... Lantern? Need a lantern? Hello? Give me a lantern. Motherfucker. I have this habit of just, like, accidentally picking things up. It's really annoying. We can make two lanterns, holy shit. Ching, ching, bling, bling, dollar, dollar. Oh, I also moved the never portal, if you hadn't noticed. <laughs> During the start of the episode when I was blabbering, I moved the never portal. Um, yeah, that was a thing that happened. Okay, let's go whack down some lanterns and get this fucking little area finished. Should be very, very cool. Um, and yeah, this is like a big, a big area sort of completely finished almost. Let me go ahead and put... Some of these down in here. Uh, and I'm kind of thinking like... Put some barrels next to and on top of some of these areas. Oh, I can't put one there, that's fine though. Maybe they're just like big chunks of um, snowberry juice, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure. I I can't put them there, can I? Because it doesn't look good. I'm going to have to put barrels at the back, I think. Oh! I, I mean, that's not too bad, to be fair. Uh, what about, like... Here, and then... Oh, I can't put one there, neither. Fuck. Okay, well, I can put one there. 
Ah ha 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 ha. Oh no! It conflicts with that one there. Fuck! Why does this game hate me? Why? Ah ha 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 ha! Beat the system! And then... You can't fight the friction! Boom! Oh my god, it worked. So this is like a, a one huge ass barrel with a little barrel in the corner. This works for what I'm doing, okay? This is fine. And then we're gonna put a light in here so that nothing spawns and a nice little lamp like, I don't know, fucking there, I guess. <laughs> um, and then I just want like a couple of extra little barrels scattered around the place. Maybe to look like they're in the process of loading some more rum. Oh, more rum? More rum! <laughs> Maybe to look like they're loading up some more of these... I think I meant to say rum for some reason. Just to load up some more snowberries onto the wagon. I really like that. I'm happy with that so far. I think it's turning out pretty well. Um, and yeah, that's like an, another, another area complete. Um, I need to go through and, like, replace all of this. So, like, uh, one minute, if I show you guys, like, round here. I'm replacing all of the normal dirt with, like, stone and coarse dirt. And then having, like, these little areas of nature. Um, where I'm gonna put, like, flowers and stuff to just make the place look a little bit nicer. Um, but yeah, this is our, this is our little snowberry sort of wagon depot, I guess. We can kind of have it so that, like... Maybe they have multiple wagons, but they're already out and about. Um, so, like, as one is close to returning, they send out another. Um, maybe something like that, I don't quite know. Um, but yeah, there we go. A bloody snowberry wagon. Okay, so I'm over at Greydale, or, like, just outside the southern entrance to Greydale. Um, I'm having a bit of an issue, so I wanted to come over here and get some books so that I could start the library at the Tiger Biome Because I just didn't want to make books manually <laughs> um, So I was like, oh well I'll find the stronghold and just steal them from there Because I feel like there's a, a library in the stronghold that I probably haven't stolen from, I can go check But apparently I haven't... Have I been to the end and into the stronghold and like shown you guys the dragon stuff in this playthrough I am really confused because I thought that it was over here I, okay so my logic was to go back through my episodes and kind of have a little gander to see if I can just find the coordinates for the stronghold because I knew that they were around this village that's why I wanted to do a build here um, but I can't find an episode where I went into the Never or fought the Wither or anything, and I feel like I definitely have included the Wither stuff. Okay, so it is beneath me. But where's the entrance? So, like, yeah, I can't find an episode <laughs> with any Stronghold stuff, any Dragon stuff. Um, I know that I defeated the wither on camera. I'm positive I did. I'm absolutely positive that I did like a little time-lapse fight thing and fought that motherfucker on camera. Um, but I just can't find the evidence of it. Maybe it's like hidden away in an earlier episode, I don't know. It must have been after I went to the Never. I don't know, I just... I don't know, maybe there's some episodes missing or something, I'm not sure. I'm really confused by it. It's really, really baffling to me. Um. Oh! <sighs> oh my god, I literally just found it. Holy shit, shit on my face. Have I got anything to... No, I haven't got, like, anything to put around this. I'm gonna take a bit of this house down. Um. <laughs> and put, like, a little entrance thing down here. Because at some stage, I want to fight the wither... Uh, the the ender dragon again to reset my end holy shit i cannot believe i just found it like that as well that is ridiculous we're gonna go down here and have a little bit of a gander and hope and pray that i haven't <laughs> that i haven't taken any of the library stuff but yeah i can't believe that i mean maybe no i don't think i did fight 
The dragon on camera. Oh my god, there's stuff down here. Oh, I've got my coal treffer on me. Is that all I've got? Shit. I don't want to use my coal treffer, but I've got no choice. There's a little connected mine shaft down here that I did not know about. I may have to return here soon to get cobwebs. Because this was like prior to me realising that you could actually pick up cobwebs with shears. That's very new information to me. I just generally also want to dismantle the stronghold. Um, so that, oh shit, so that I can get like all of the crap from it. <laughs> Even if they're just normal regular blocks. Okay, I'm assuming we have to go down here. This seems somewhat familiar. Hello, hello, how are you? Oh no. Oh, I did empty them. Okay, because I came here with TJ and we fight together. Because I remember I didn't record us going into the actual end. Because he fucking died with my Neverite stuff on him. So I, I remember some of this. I didn't realise the fucking... The entire thing was empty though. That's not cool. I'm going to have to manually make bookshelves myself. Imagine. Oh my days, it's getting out of hand. It's getting out of hand, there's too many of them. Go away. Leave me alone, you little beasts. You terrible beasties. At least we've got plenty of slime. Good god. Okay, so at least, I'm, I guess at least I know this is empty. Oh my god, there's stuff here. Why is there stuff in here? I just, like, left. And I'm going to leave again. <laughs> So here's our uh, here's our thing. We could just go back in, uh, but I don't have the stuff to resummon the dragon yet. But that's something that I want to do in the future. And we're also going to have some episodes where we explore the end again, um, our new and improved end, and look for more elytras and shulkers and stuff. <gasps> oh my god! Ah, uh, give me the mall. This has saved me so much time. Holy shit! What are the chances of me finding just like a second intact library? This is amazing. Holy shit. Um, I think we may also be able to find- isn't there like a stronghold every thousand blocks or something like that? So maybe we'd be able to find another one as well. Oh shit, that had stuff in it. It didn't have anything enchanted though. I'm guessing I'd already searched it. This is probably where all my books for the fucking castle library came from. <laughs> it sounds about right, to be fair. I wish I had some shears on me so that I could go ahead and get these cobwebs. Holy shit, I'm so happy that we found this, though. So, the building next to the wagon kind of setup that we've got over at the Tiger Village, that building is going to be the library. I'm mixing things up a little bit, and the town hall is going to be completely separate. Um, I took a break in between jump cuts, which is why I'm now suddenly over at Greydale. So I'm recording this like the day after <laughs> the first half of the video. Um, I went off and got like a shit ton of ice for ice paths because I want to work on getting an ice path out to the desert yet. Um, I want to get an ice path going out there uh, for when we're ready. And then I also want to stock up enough ice, like packed ice. Uh, for the ice path going from the desert out into the 1.17 land <laughs> That's what we're calling anything past the desert is 1.17 land also I realized that The jungle that I've discovered in the creative copy of this world like the creative copy of the seed is Not rendered in on this world. I haven't been over there yet. It was it was planned to go over there me and TJ were gonna log on and go get a shit ton of bamboo um, and we just haven't done it and we're not gonna do it because I don't want to render in the jungle yet because my logic is like the jungle will be the closest thing to the desert um, that won't be rendered in yet and we can probably explore some cool 1.17 stuff over in the jungle uh, that's the current plan I don't know if I'm gonna do a jungle build um, I don't know if we'll just sort of go there, create a little house, and then sort of use it as a stopping point to go off somewhere else. Let's grab that paper. 
we'll kind of just see what happens and go with the flow. But yeah, I got plenty of ice. Um, I completely ruined my Neverite pickaxe. <laughs> that's now gone. My Silk Touch version of that with like efficiency five has now died. I was like, well, I don't have any Neverite to repair it, so I'll just enchant a new a new pickaxe. I'm doing okay with levels lately. Um, when I actually focus on getting them, wearing a lot of mending armor makes me level up quite slow. But we've got holy shit, three and a half stacks, pretty much. So let's get the fuck out of here. Um, and yeah, I got a, a shit ton of spruce. I did a shit ton of spruce stuff over at the homestead. Um, so we've got some spruce to build with. We're going to get the library done hopefully this episode as well. Um, I've also built the towers over at the tiger village which we can go take a look at. I'm going to grab some of this coal while we're here with my coal cheffer. Um, but yeah, things are going really, really well so far. I've made a lot of progress lately. I'm hoping I can kind of, like, keep this sort of creative ethic up and just, like, keep making loads of progress. Because I'm really enjoying myself as well. Like, I feel like I'm achieving a lot. Um, it's going to be interesting coming back over to Greydale and working on, like, the Redstone Ravine and stuff. Um, the village that is... Above us right now, I think I'm going to leave for now. Um, I don't know entirely if I want to continue that build style, or maybe just do that build style a little bit more low-key. I feel like I've used so much spruce wood. I just don't have the effort. <laughs> don't have the effort to build, like, spruce log roofs. It's such a pain in the ass. Maybe I can come up with something slightly uh, different like spruce stairs with like some planks included for the rails to go on top of or something i don't know i'll try and think of something i will try and think of something but yeah we're gonna <laughs> we're getting like so much done in one episode it feels like i know the episode's gonna be quite long let's go ahead and whack that down i don't want that let's get out of here let's fly away Oh, well that was no good. I need to figure out how to make end crystals. Are they end crystals? Something like that. Crystal somethings, end somethings, I can't remember. I'm going to find out when we get inside the storage room, because I need to make, I think it's four of them. And we'll also find out if the world is still vanilla by then, because we'll be able to... Uh, get an achievement for killing the dragon twice, that'll be quite cool. Let's have a look to see how you make end crystals. We're doing some actual survival stuff for once. Uh, oh, okay, so you just need gas tears and glass with those eye vendors that I've got. Gas tears, let's have a look, see if we've got any. Oh, gas tears, we've got plenty of them. Oh, gas tears, and we've got loads of... Oh, no, we haven't got loads of uh, sand. Uh, glass. <laughs> I forgot what it was called. Oh, shit. Uh, maybe I've got some... Maybe I've got some glass elsewhere. We can maybe work on that as we go along. This is some of the ice that I got. So, like, I filled up the... I've got an ice chest around here. That is now jam-packed full of fucking ice. I didn't realise that these were here. I might fill one of those double chests up instead. Um, I just generally want to continue stacking up these chests a little bit more. Um, or, alternatively, moving some of the stuff over to the homestead. So that we either have space for other things, or... Um, I don't know, like... I don't really feel like I need kelp over here, so why don't we just move the kelp elsewhere and like all the potion materials and kind of survival-y things. I think it might be a little bit better for me to take it over to the homestead at some stage. So we might have like a, a nice moving project to get rid of some of this MacGuffins and empty the storage room a little bit more. I don't really know. Like a lot of these farms are completely fucking useless. <laughs> like they don't get me anything at all. I've looked in there like five times. Good God. Okay. I'm hoping to just suddenly discover some sand in one of them. 
Maybe I cooked some sand? No? I'm cooking loads of stuff, apparently. Oh, no I'm not. I'm just cooking some cobble. Cooking some cobble. Okay. Uh, let me go ahead and put these slimes back. And we shall put some of those in there. I'm going to leave the... I don't need, like, more than two stacks of books. Good God. Uh, boom. Get rid of those. I'm going to put these back for now. I know that I've got the gas tiers. I just need to get some glass sorted. I could do with just smelting like a shit ton of glass. There might be some glass over at the Redstone Ravine, actually. We shall put the coal in there. Go ahead and whack the iron in there. We've got anything in these? We have. We've got stone in these. Hello. This is what I've recently been doing, is just fucking... Smelting a shit to a cobble because I think I opened one of these chests. I think it was the stone brick one Maybe I don't know I opened one of these and there was like zero materials and I was like holy shit I cannot return to Greydale and there'd just be nothing here because I've been dipping into it every so often Okay um, I'll Throw the remaining bookshelves in here with these books and some paper. I know we've got a paper chest, but it's fine Um I don't need the eye of enders on me. Boom. String. Have we got a string chest? We do. Bloody hell, we've got chests for everything. Everything has its place. And then, is there... Why have I got this? Why did I take this? I don't know, but I guess we're taking it with us because it might be useful. <laughs> I clearly needed it for something. Um... Okay, so we're back over at the Tiger Village. Um, I got some of the stuff that I needed, and we're just going to work on the library a little bit. It's going to have the same basic structure as the majority of the other houses. I also didn't realise I had done the roof. That was a nice little surprise to come over to. Um, I'm going to get like a lot of the roofs that still need doing like their next on the list to do. I'm also just going to finish the butchers off camera, um, wherever it is. Is this it? Have I already done it? Oh, I guess I've already done it. Holy shit. <laughs> I think part of the roof is undone, maybe. I don't... Oh, maybe I finished that as well. I don't know. I think I did it quite recently as well. That's embarrassing. I should be able to remember these things. Um, but as you can see, the towers are done. All of the towers are finished around... Uh, what's it called? Win Winstead? Winds Peak? What, what, what did I call it? I didn't call it Winstead. I've already forgotten. What did I fucking call this place? Oh, I also did up the entrance just a little bit. And I might do like a little portcullis thing on there. Winstead. Winstead Hollow. Fucking hell. It's like a very Skyrim-y name, so I keep on mixing it up with other Skyrim locations. We're also gonna throw some cobble down in this build. Um, some cobble and some stone for when I come round to finish this, because I'll be doing that fairly soon. I'll probably do it off camera after I've done the library. Don't want to do like absolutely every single build on camera. Because then we, t we take too long. We take too bloody long. Go ahead and whack down all of this. It's so relieving to find out that I don't have the roof to do. Holy fuck. Um. Oh, piss. That'll do. Where's my fucking pickaxe gone? There it is. I put all this spruce on me thinking that I'd have a roof to do. <laughs> um, I'm also going to start sorting out like a lot of this, like a lot of the chest stuff that's just kind of like sat around not really doing anything at the moment. Um, I'll sort that out fairly soon and get it gone. Because I don't really want there to be much stuff out here at the village until we kind of link the village up with dollar hide and fill in the gaps in between um <clears throat> i need to make a i need to make a map room just for the world that's a project that i'm gonna have to work on fairly soon get like a nice big map room of the region name the region which is going to be really cool um like really cementing the two cities and the village that we've got so far i don't know like I really like world building and building up the lore and like, you know, we've already said that Greydale's like a militaristic kind of anti-religion kind of city, like traveling to the never and 
um, disturbing sacred grounds and killing the wither and the dragon and whatever else. And then, like, I like the concept of maybe a city that worships the wither or worships the dragons or whatever, rather than kind of trying to kill them. <laughs> um, kind of Game of Thrones style, I guess. I don't really know. I'm going to put some spruce back here. A lot of these walls are going to be covered in bookshelves, so it really doesn't matter at all, like, what's on them. I don't know why my... why's my phone blinking? Oh. It's just a text. It was just a text. Uh, boom. I might have, like, a little window at the back here. So I found some glass panes sat around. Um... So we've got some glass somewhere. I'm glad somebody got some fucking glass. Good God. And I think we're going to have a window over on this side as well. And I think that's going to be the only windows we have. I don't really want to have any others. I'm going to take that out of there. That's fine. I'm just fucking like throwing everything around my inventory. Trying to make, like, the sloppiest looking library. Like, I just want it to look really run down and kind of cobbled together. You know, they don't have that much stuff to put here. I've got a lectern ready, I think. Maybe. I don't know, but, like, it's not going to be difficult for me to make a lectern with the amount of fucking books that I've got. We can go ahead and put a lectern down this episode. Uh... God, give me a fucking... Give me a block. I don't want that. Shit. Give me a block. Boom. And some right trouble there. And then we'll go ahead and put a nice little support on the inside. Um, and we can maybe have like a lantern hanging down. Or a couple of lanterns hanging down or something. Grab those little blocks that were hiding up there. Go ahead and put a... A workbench down in here as well. Everywhere needs a workbench. Everyone loves a workbench. Everyone needs a workbench. Bish, bash, bosh. In fact, I don't think I'm going to have them in the corner. i take that one off. Boom. Give me that back, little bitch. Uh, and then... I want like a little, a little side bookshelf there, and like maybe we can have it coming across there as well. We could put um, we could put some upside down stairs. Kind of add like a little support. We've got like a little seating area. I have a window. Um, I don't know, like, it's a, it's a fucking library. I don't really know what else I really need in here. I guess maybe, like, a table in the centre or something might be quite nice to have, actually. Um, like, a table with the lectern and stuff on. I'm just trying to figure out if I've got, like, enough space for this. I don't think I have. I was trying to, like, maybe go for... Oh, that could do, actually. Yeah, that would be fine. Maybe, like, even a little plant pot or something on there with an, a little, some kind of plant flower thing in. And maybe we could also get some cobwebs going and put them in the roof. Like, just to... Because, like, I, it looks so basic at the moment, which is what I wanted for it, because it's just, you know, it's meant to be a fucking village, um, a village library, so it doesn't need to be over the top. <clears throat> but I don't want it to look bad. Fucking speaking of looking bad, there's a goddamn uh, the under under things are not there. The under things are not there. The fucking under things. Oh, sorry, madam. I'm gonna smash my barrel. Let me go grab some. We'll go grab some upside down stairs, or just normal stairs, you know, and place them upside down like a normal fucking Minecraft player, rather than upside down stairs. Is that okay? That peak's okay. I know that the front peak is okay as well. I guess I just forgot to do the back peak. The back peak. Not the back peak. Good God, man. 
and then a little bit <clears throat> a little bit of supporting around the back everyone likes a bit of support around the back every so often a little supporting around the back and then maybe we could also put some leaves and stuff around here um, just to kind of break it up a little bit put any leaves in here no but we've got some oh we can't put sweet berries down it'll kill the villagers shit we could put some dark oak saplings around here that actually might look quite nice a couple of like singular dark oak saplings just to kind of break it up a little bit it's like they carry a lot of sweet berries around here so little sweet berry shrubs grow that's quite cool okay and then we want to add a door we love to see it we love to see it I don't know I'm like I'm, I really wanted to include the library with the town hall, but I just feel like there wasn't going to be enough space. Um, and realistically, like, there's not going to be that many more villages in this area, so I might as well just sort of throw a library down. Very impromptu kind of build. <laughs> uh, maybe we can put, like, a little item frame up there with a book in it. That might be quite nice. Uh, and then get some leaves and put them around here. That could that could look quite nice. Get this library complete. Uh, I don't need any of those on me. Okay, let me go get... I might put some trap doors on the windows. I don't know. Have I put them on the windows over here? I haven't. Okay. I guess I'm not putting them over there then. Grab some oak. Some old oak. I know that I just put my cobblestone away, but I just realised that I needed some stairs for the back supports. <laughs> Every single time I put something away, I realise that I bloody need it. It's like, well, doesn't stay away for long. Um, should I put like a, just a normal book in the item frame or an entire bookshelf? <laughs> well, I'm also going to need to make... One or two lecterns. I'm going to make two. Going to have two sexy lecterns, boy. I did not use, like, any of those fucking bookshelves. Holy shit. Oh, there's an item frame. I guess we're putting a bookshelf in it. Which is fine. It just wasn't my uh, first intention. Maybe I will add cobwebs in. I don't know. Maybe I won't. Like I said, I don't know... I don't really know if I'm going to keep stuff here and be here that often once we've actually finished the build. I just want it to be like a location in the world. There we go. Boom. Let's go inside. We're going to go put down a lectern there and a lectern here. Bish bash bosh. I don't know. I feel like there needs to be something up here because it's just like a little bit empty. So unless I do some stairs going along the top of the bookshelf, my stomach's growling like a mad one. Holy fuck. That was a loud one. Okay, we're gonna... We're gonna stare across the top just to add something on top of these goddamn bookshelves. And then maybe if I remember at some point, I'll put some cobwebs down. <laughs> I feel like maybe we need a painting or something in here on this blank wall. It feels weird just having that, like, open. It's also weirdly bright in here all of a sudden. I don't think it's because of the torches. Uh, which I'm going to put a torch down there. And we'll put one there. That'll be fine. That'll keep the place illuminated. Boom. Let's go ahead and put some leaves down around here. Uh, and we'll also put a couple around here. And around this side. Um, we'll put one like there. That'll do. And some cobblestone stairs. Just to build up this back support. As we've said, everyone loves a back support. A bit of support in the back is good for everyone. Put a little bit of support, like, round here as well. That'll do. That'll do. We've finished the library. Brilliant. We've got, like, 
a whole little area done. So we did the wagon, we did the library, I'm really happy with it, we went to the stronghold, we did a lot this episode. So, I hope you enjoyed it, feel free to leave a thumbs up for this slightly longer episode, and hopefully in the next video we'll be able to get the town hall done, and wrap up the work on the Tiger Village. I'd say there's at least like one or two episodes left for the Tiger Village. Um, we'll see how much I can get done off camera, like renovating the area and decorating and finishing off some of the houses. Um, and at some stage there'll be a tour video for Winstead coming out. So I hope you've enjoyed it and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.